Welcome to Playoff Football Action here on Redeemer Radio. We are coming to you live from the south side of Fort Wayne. Tonight on tap, it is the Bishop Lewers Knights hosting the Yorktown Tigers in regional championship football action. I'm Sean McBride. Up here in the booth with me is Mr. Mark Watts. Bishop Lewers has faced some very stiff competition throughout the season here, Mark, but I don't know that they have faced a quarterback like Riley Neal. He's 6'5", 205 uh, pounds. He's going to Ball State. He is the real deal, Sean. Yeah. It's going to be fun to watch. Here's a snap. Quarterback keeper looking through the middle. He's got a seam into the secondary. Still on his feet. Going into the end zone. He is going to be nonstop touchdown. He put a move on Isaac Morkin, the free safety. Just went by him. He's everything we saw on film. Here is the quarterback keeper again under center. This time they score. They punch it in over the line, and Yorktown now goes up 12-0. to zero. Man in motion, rolling to his right now. Is Neal looking to throw, throws downfield into the corner, caught inside the five-yard line. Again, that's Riley to Riley. Riley Miller on the reception that time. He rolls to his left, looking to throw, throws into the corner, back corner, touchdown. Just that easy that time for Yorktown. 19-0 to is your score. The Yorktown Tigers have come in to Lures Field and stun the Bishop Lures Knight so far. Here is Yorktown from the 42 of Bishop Lewers. Thrown over the middle. Seam tipped. Popped. Piss. It is picked off by Bishop Lewers that time. He's got it. That is Vankowski with the ball knocked out of bounds. But a huge play for the Bishop Lewers defense. The offense was on the sidelines all together here. And when he picked that ball up, they just jumped for joy and just ran on the field. I think you're going to see a different offense this series. All right, on fourth and six. Wazinski looks to throw, slant, Austin Mack, he's got it, and a first down and then some, breaks three tackles and gets down to the 20-yard line. It was just finding Mack, who's a big receiver over the middle. Their linebackers are aggressive, and you're starting to see Coach Lindsey get a feel for this defense. Man in motion now. Here's a snap, end around. That is Mack looking for a seam, puts his head down, still on his feet, driving into the end zone, touchdown. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. There's your Division One player. 19-7 to is your score, and the Bishop Lewis Knights go into the locker room with some momentum. But right now for our halftime interview, we're going to go down to Nick Gray. I'm pleased to be joined once again by uh, with uh, assistant principal here at Bishop Lures High School, Jim Huth. Sometimes I think people say, oh, you know, Lures isn't like Dwanger and Dwanger isn't like Lures. And I think that's a blessing. And I think at times we think, you know, they should be exactly the same. No, they shouldn't. You know, they're serving kids. They're serving kids in slightly different ways. But the mission is still the same, and that's to create great Catholic kids. Championship teams, when they come out of the third quarter, their very first possession. I can't wait to see Lures' first possession coming out of here. Austin Mack tries to break it outside. He's got a block. The 35 to 40. The 45 to 50. Takes a step to 40. The 35. Shed the tackle. He's down the sidelines. He could score. No flags. Touchdown. Austin Mack, number one, runs the kickoff return back. 71 yards for a Bishop Lewis score. I'll tell you what, I about soiled myself. I mean, he came down to the sidelines. I got to get out of the way. He just uh, walked that tightrope right to the end zone. Great job. Here's a snap. He's following Dippold left side. Puts his shoulder down. Touchdown. Here we Bishop go. Lures, C.J. McCarter. The shootout is on, ladies and gentlemen. The Bishop Lures Knights respond with another six points. And here's Wazinski. A little draw play. Give to Gaston. He breaks two tackles. He's off to the race. Go. The 50, go. the 45, the 40. Breaks it inside. The 30. He's still on his feet. Down to the 20-yard line is Jeremiah Gaston. The counter play has been there all night. And he does it again. Great call by Coach Lindsay. He's in the backfield with uh, Wazinski. Giving him a Carter. Left side trying to find some room. He's in. Touchdown. Bishop Lewers on top for the first time tonight, 26 to 25. Bishop Lewers has been here before, and they are playing like champions right now. Ladies and gentlemen, proud to report here from Lewers Stadium. Knights win. The Bishop Lewers Knights, your 2014 3A regional champions. The Bishop Lures Knights, 26 to 25, is your final score. Hey, Coach Lindsay, congratulations! First 3A regional for Bishop Lures, and it's got to come from you. I'm so excited for you. Well, thanks, Coach. Uh, you know, I'm happy for the kids. Uh, we've been talking. I'm happy for the community, the program. Um, you know, a lot of people a long time ago when we first came in 3A said we couldn't win a couldn't win a state championship, couldn't win championship. What they've been through over the last 18 months. Um, you know, it just almost brings tears to your eyes. You're so happy. What a regional championship this has been for the Bishop Lures Knights. What a game that we have been able to witness tonight. Hats off to the Yorktown Tigers. 
but the Bishop Lures Knights coming up strong. Good night. God bless you, and we'll see you on the sidelines. You're listening to WRDF Redeemer Radio 106.3 FM.